My sponsor is having a crazy sale to end the season, only $3 for 5 million coins, so if you're looking to get those last few season score tickets, make sure to check them out for cheap NBA Live Mobile coins. What's up, ballers? We are back with some more NBA Live Mobile. So Cornucopia packs have returned to the store. EA added five more that you can open on each account that you have, and I've got a few different accounts. I think I only have two, however, that I have enough coins to open them up on, so we're going to be opening up 10 more packs, and if we can get 400 likes on this video, I will try to get enough coins on my ballin' on a budget account to open those up as well. Should have at least four uploads coming at you guys today. Got lots of stuff planned out, so I am excited about it. Before we get started, guys, make sure you go check out my new accounts on Twitter and Instagram it's named Buckets or Nah. So basically, it's going to be based off the podcast that I started with my roommates yesterday. It's pretty much going to be all about the NBA. So funny NBA content, discussing the NBA, analyzing. If you're an NBA fan, make sure you guys go check them out. Their links will be down in the description. But we're going to go ahead and get started. So here we go with our first Cornucopia pack. We still have not pulled one of these 96 overall cards, and I really want one. Just once, I would love for EA to actually give me some pack luck. So here we go, going one at a time. Come on, EA. There's got to be a 96 Kevin Durant hiding in one of these. We get the last card on our first pack. We're going to no look at... Come on, Kevin! Please be in there. Please, Kevin. Oh! It is Kevin, but... Oh, my gosh! Oh my gosh, it's Kevin, but not the Kevin I wanted, but that one's even better. Let's go. I would almost prefer to have this card over 96 Kevin Durant. That is hype. Let's go. 95 Kevin Love in our first pack. That pretty much pays for the entire rest of the packs that we're going to open. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. And we get a Summer Course Pro Pack with nothing special. We can pull nothing in the rest of these packs and I would still be hyped because we would hey and we get a 90 overall CJ McCollum now that's probably not even gonna make our coins back anymore because I think like 93 overall cards are now selling for like 90k on the auction house which is absolutely ridiculous but that's just that's just the shape of the auction house right now all right so we get our worst program pull out of here but we do get a double elite so it's it's all right it's all right. We're just going to keep on rolling. Honestly, a double elite is probably worth more than the CJ McCollum that we just pulled. So I'm not going to complain about it. Hey, let's go. We get a 92 as well. Tyler Hansborough. All right. So our pack luck seems to be better today. I'm really, really wanting to open these packs on my Ballin' on a Budget account as well because if we can pull a 95... I would have finally made back all the coins that I spent on these packs. Come on. Hey, and we get another 92. Bradley Beal, a nice card. He's got a good three-pointer. He's actually kind of a budget beast. I'm guessing he's super cheap on the auction house right now as well. Guys, I'm thinking about since the auction house is pretty much broken, like restarting the series that we were doing before. I think it was like cheapest lineups under a million coins. Because if we were doing cheapest lineups under a million coins right now, I could probably get like a 95 overall lineup for a million coins. That's how ridiculous this is right now. So we are going to hop on over to our next account, open five more of those packs. And if we can get... I can't even remember what we set the goal at. If we can get... Did I say 300 likes down below? We'll open them on my Ballin' on a Budget account as well. But we're going to go ahead and hop on over. All right, guys, we are here on our other account. I've been looking at the prices of these cards on the auction house, and the prices are absolutely crashing, so I'm definitely going to try to do a shopping spree on my Ballin' on a Budget account because we can get ridiculous cards for crazy cheap. Base Elites are at 25k right now, which is ridiculous, but we're still going to open up these last five packs because why not? I just want to see if I can finally pull a 96. We pulled 195. It seems like the packs are kind of juiced this morning. Can we finally get a 96? Nope, we can get an 86. No 96 as of yet. Come on, EA. I need this pack luck right now. Hey, there we go. We get a 94 Eric Gordon. That is our third best pull from these packs. Second best pull today. I will take it. Can we get a double elite? No, we cannot, but that's all right. 
Still a nice pull right there. We will at least make back our coins on that one. All right, Frank Kaminsky, one of the better three-point shooting at centers in the game. And we get a double elite, so I'll take it. We probably made back our coins. I think Frank will probably sell for a little bit more because he's one of the better three-point shooters. So I'm not going to complain about it. I will take it. Come on, give me that 96 or an 87. That's fine, EA. Don't give me a 96. I didn't want one anyways. All right, here we go. Last pack. I feel it. It's actually going to be a 97 Victor Oladipo in this pack. I'm calling it right now. No look. We're hitting reveal all in 3, 2, 1. Come on, Oladipo. Please be waiting for me. All right, we get another 92 Tyler Hansbro. Still not a bad pull. I'll take it. And we got a Summer Quartz Pro Pack right here. Nothing special in there. So hopefully we can make back the coins that we spent on those packs. Let's see, we got a 94 Eric Gordon, 92 Tyler Hansbro, 89 Frank Kaminsky, 87 Rodney Hood, and 86 Patty Mills. So the last three we will probably be losing coins on, but we did go double elite in one of those packs, and Eric Gordon should make us a decent amount. I just, I just want to see how much he goes for, because the price of any player that you can pull out of these packs is completely crashing on the auction house. So 80 or uh, 94 Gordon is what we're looking for. This should be, I think there's only one. Okay, one. Oh my gosh. He is a 94 overall and he's going for 115K on the auction house, guys. That's ridiculous. I bet you we're going to see one for 100K up here. 100, 1, 2, 3, 100K. Oh my gosh. We're not even going to make coins off of our best pull. This is ridiculous. Guys. 94 overall selling for 95k this is like crazy guys the auction house has completely crashed we need to go ahead and do a shopping spree on our account for balling on a budget today because this is going to be like the lowest of the low that the prices are gonna go everybody's opening up these last few cornucopia packs because they think they're gonna make coins i'm convinced that at this point it's just about impossible to make coins with the packs because you've got these things where you got a 94 that goes for 95k. My best pull, honestly, probably one of the 92s that I got is going to sell for more. Let's see. Uh, Tyler Hansbro, actually, he's probably not going to sell for more. I need to see how much that Kevin Love is going for. 95 Love, please. Please. It's got to be more than like... Okay. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. He's still going for really good coins. Let's go. All right. That's probably one of the best pulls you can get out of there. 950 at the lowest. So we make back the coins. Actually, in total, I guess we did spend 750k coins. So we did make back our coins. I'm curious how much 96 Durant is. In my opinion, he's one of the best players in those packs. But he might be going for cheaper. Okay, so his price, actually, he goes for less than the Kevin Love does. So we ended up getting a better pull than a 96 Durant. So I'll take it. Probably one of the most expensive ones in all of those packs. Let's see what the 97 Ola Depot goes for. Ola Depot. Oh, yes. So he would have been a little bit more, but barely. Actually, he might even be... It looks like he's probably going to be cheaper. Wow. So we actually got... It looks like the best possible pull, or at least one of them, even though he's only a 95. It's one of the more rare cards in the pack. So I'm pretty happy with how I did... Let me know if you guys opened up the rest of your packs, what you got out of them. We'd love to hear from you guys. I've seen some crazy pulls from you guys so far. You can tweet them to me at BobbyBucketsYT on Twitter or tag me in them on Instagram. Same tag as well. But that's going to be it for this episode. So hope you guys did enjoy. As always, drop a like down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time.